Today I'd like to read for you the Italian legend of old Grifana in her meeting with the three wise men. In a small house on the outskirts of a small village in Italy lived old Bifana. She lived all alone and she wasn't very friendly. If any people dared to knock at her door, she never asked them in. I have no time for visiting, old Bifana would say. The children didn't like her either. Cranky old lady, in the way she is always sweeping. That was true. Every day, every morning, and every afternoon, old Bifana would sweep with her broom. She swept her little house, she swept the front step, and she even swept her walk all the way down to the road. Sometimes a delicious smell of things baking would drift from old Bifana's house. Who does she bake for? her neighbors would ask. And some nights, they thought they heard her singing lullabies. Crazy old Bifana, everybody called her. One evening after old Bifana had eaten her dinner and swept her kitchen clean, she began to get ready for bed. She looked, locked the door and shuttered the windows. Then she climbed into her bed, blew out the lamp, and fell asleep. In the middle of the night, Old Big Fana woke up. The room was bright. How can that be, she asked. My lamp is out. My windows are shuttered, but still my house is filled with light. She got out of bed and crossed the cold floor. When she opened the shutter, a sudden burst of light poured into the room. In the eastern sky, she saw a brilliant star which seemed to grow before her eyes. Hmph, <laughs> old Bifana said, closing the shutter as tightly as she could. How am I ever to get my sleep? When the dark has turned to day, at night she tossed and turned. She didn't sleep a wink. At dawn, old Bifana got up and dressed. She ate her breakfast, then took her broom, as she always did, every day, every morning and afternoon. She swept her little house, she swept her front step, she even swept the walk all the way down to the road. When she neared the road, old Bifana stopped and listened. She heard bells tinkling. It's probably just the wind, she said. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Again, she heard the bells. It's probably just the birds singing. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Once more she heard the sound. My old ears play tricks, she said. Sweep, sweep. Suddenly over the hill came the most glorious procession old Bifana had ever seen. Camels, horses, elephants, and people. A splendid sight. Halfway back rode three royal-looking men, dressed in jewel robes, wearing crowns upon their heads. The procession stopped. The three kings got down, came up to a frowning old Bifana. Please, said one of the kings in a royal voice, is this the way to Bethlehem? How can I say, said old Bifana, I never heard of it. And she began to sweep. We are searching for the child, 